purpose of this hydraulic system? Well, the high pressure oil is used as the medium for operating the turbine control system. For example, the servo mechanism, which provides the force to adjust the turbine admission valves, is motivated by hydraulic oil, hence the high pressure needed. Hydraulic oil is also used to hold open the turbine stop valve during operation and hold open the extraction line non-return valves during normal operation. Hydraulic oil is employed to provide a relatively large force in response to a small signal from the control system. For example, the servo mechanism that we just mentioned is really a power amplifier that responds to a small movement and force of, say, a few pounds from the governor's system and turns this into a force of several tons to operate the turbine valves against the high pressure steam. In this simplified example shown here, the turbine steam control valve is adjusted by the position of the hydraulic servo piston. This large system is controlled by the small pilot valve here. Now suppose the governor control system lifts the operating lever slightly. As we can see, this will now allow high pressure oil to enter the servo cylinder above the piston. At the same time, it will allow oil below the piston to pass to the oil drain. In response to this, the piston will be forced downwards, partially closing the control valve. But look, this movement downward also moves the operating lever and this moves the pilot valve downward, so closing off the servo cylinder, which is now in a new position. We'll be looking in much more detail at the turbine control system in the next module in this series. For now, we're just looking at applications for hydraulic oil. In many turbines, the same grade of oil is used for both applications. So the hydraulic and lube oil systems are combined to utilize the same oil tank and the same pumps. The main oil pump is mounted in the front end pedestal and is driven directly from the turbine shaft. Diagrammatically, the scheme looks like this. When the machine is in operation, the main oil pump here delivers oil at 250 PSI. This supplies the hydraulic oil system. At the same time, it provides oil to the lube oil header at 50 PSI through a reducing valve. During startup and shutdown, a motor-driven high-pressure oil pump is used. Again, this supplies both the hydraulic oil system and the lube oil system. In this arrangement, this pump is known as the auxiliary oil pump since it is the main standby to the shaft-driven pump. When the turbine is out of service and operating on turning gear, we still need to provide lubrication to the bearings. However, in this situation with hydraulic oil not required, it would be inefficient to run the large auxiliary oil pump. Instead, a small pump is installed known as the turning gear oil pump and this provides sufficient oil for lubrication only. And as before, there is a DC emergency pump which will provide lubrication in the case that all AC service supply power is lost. So we can see that there is in fact a hierarchy of oil pumps with automatic startup based on pressure readings. If the high pressure oil pump fails and the pressure falls, the AC auxiliary oil pump will cut in automatically. If the lube oil pressure falls, the turning gear oil pump starts up automatically. And if this consequently fails, the DC oil pump will start. As with all automatic devices, the pump auto start operations should be checked on all pumps regularly. Make sure that you check out the details of your own lube oil and hydraulic oil systems. You should be thoroughly familiar with the location of all pumps and controls for these pumps. Now at this point, let's take a break, and then we'll come back and take a look at vacuum equipment on the turbine. For now, please switch off the tape and review this material in your workshop.